Using 3D web scenes, you can publish your work. And many of you are already doing this. So next, we want to take just a few more minutes and give you a sneak peek into your future with 3D. Please welcome Gert Van Maren. Thanks, John. Two years ago, we introduced the concept of the web scene. Now, this is a 3D scene that we can view and interact with in the browser with no plugin and no download. Now, with the upcoming 10.3 release, we are extending ArcGIS to support web scenes in the browser, on mobile devices, and also in desktop, powered by a new 3D service in ArcGIS Server. Now, you can use the web scene to view and share a city scene, like here, Singapore. Or you can create an Earth scene showing global layers, such as land surface temperature, and add your favorite base map. We can also go down to landscape level and show detailed terrain with high resolution imagery and bring in operational layers, such as, for example, a paragliding track lock. But how do you create a web scene? Well, let me show you. Here I am in ArcGIS portal, and I can create a web scene just like I would create a web map. And exactly like a web map, I can start to mesh up layers in my scene. I can add, for example, buildings or trees. And these layers can have a thematic look, like the ones you see here in Rotterdam. But I can also bring in realistic-looking buildings from data providers such as Blom. Now, some of you might have noticed that the elevation here in Rotterdam is somewhat lower resolution. And we can fix this in the web scene by fusing the base elevation with our own high-resolution elevation layer. I can also search my content, my organization, or ArcGIS Online for more layers to add to the web scene. In this case, it's a building design. I add it to the scene, and then I can go into the layer properties and change, for example, the symbology in case I want to highlight the new building design. Now, to finish the web scene, I can create slides that help tell the story that I want to present to, let's say, stakeholders. I can take a slide of the existing cityscape and then take a slide of the proposed cityscape. Now, the only thing left to do is set the properties of the web scene, set a description, you can add a tag, and then we just hit Save. The web scene is now an item in my content, and I can share it again in my browser, on desktop, or on a mobile device. Now, this new and exciting web scene technology will be released with the 10.3 server, portal, and subsequent online release, enabling you all to start working in 3D across the ArcGIS platform. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt.